2017 paper two now. Nice and easy, 2017 January paper that is. So again, 2017, always look on the rules. This paper have two sections, section one, eight question, you do everything. Section two, three question, you choose two something, all right? And question nine, 10 and 11, Usually question 10 and 11 is vectors and matrices and question 10 is trigonometry, question nine is relations, functions, velocity time graph or kinematics, if you want to put it that way, motion in a straight line. All right, and um, that's it. There's a formula sheet and stuff like that. So let's get into January paper solution. This is the formula sheet. Anytime you don't remember any formula, like let's say you're finding length of an arc, or maybe you're finding um, area of sector, anything, you can come back to here to remember some formulas. Nice and easy. Now let's get going. So this you now, using a calculator or otherwise, work out this fraction. Let's assume you want to do it otherwise, all right? So it, first thing is you always work out what's in the numerator first. So three and a half, I like to write that three and a half as seven over two. So you have seven over two being multiplied by this one and two over three can be written as three times one is three plus two is five. So this can be written as it's being multiplied by five over three. All I did was convert them to a improper in the numerator and it's divided by four and one over five. Four and one over five is 21 over five as a improper fraction. So now let's simplify the numerator. Simplifying the numerator, we see seven times five is 35 and two times three is six. So you get 35 over six and that's divided by 21 over five. Nice. Now, of course, when you're dividing, all right, of course, when you're dividing, it's gonna become 35 over six multiplied. Remember when you divide, you change the sign from division to multiplication and you multiply it by five over 21. See, so work that out. I have 35 times five, which is 175 and then six times 21, I think that's 126. Absolutely, that's 126. So it's 175 over 126. Nice and easy. You can also convert it back to a um, mixed number. So it would be one and, one and 49 over 126. Nice and easy, easy question, soft. Now you may want to just check it by put everything in the calculator. All right, so you put in a calculator three and a half, you multiply it by one and two over three, and then you divide it by four and one over five. All right. And so, yes, yeah, so I'm getting one and seven over 18. Nice, so this can actually be simplified, right? You can actually simplify because both of these are divisible by seven. So if you want, you can simplify it. But it didn't say um, to work it out, to simplify it to lowest term, so you can leave it as that. But if you want, both of these are divisible by seven, so you can reduce this if you want. Now the second part says to work out this. That's gonna be equal to 5.47 minus the square root of, always work out what's inside the bra inside first. So work out what is 0 0.1014 then you divide that by 1.5 and you're gonna get 0 0.0676. So you get 0 
all right? Then you can find the square root of that thing. So when you work this out now, you have 5.47 minus the square root of 0 0.0676. So 5.47 minus the square root of 0. Point, square root of 0 0.0676. When you square root that, you get 0 0.26. So what we'll end up getting is 5.47. So this part just becomes 5.47 minus 0 0.26. And so let's do the subtraction now. 5.47 minus 0 0.26, that is 5.21. So nice and easy question, nothing, nothing killer right here. 5.21, very easy, soft. All right, moving on. Part B, it says the table below shows, the table below shows the number of tickets sold for a bus store. Some items in the table are missing. You have juvenile, you have youth, and you have adults. Then you have the number of tickets that they sold on the bus tour. Then you have the cost per ticket, then the total cost. The total cost is $130. And that is for the total cost for juvenile tickets. And the total cost for youth is Q. Total cost for adult is 2,483. Now it says calculate the value of P. What we do know is that five times P, so the number of tickets times the cost per tickets give you how much the five tickets cost. And the total cost for the five tickets is 130.5. So if we divide both sides by five, we get that P is going to be equal to $130.50 divided by five. And so what is P? When you do the division, P works out to be 130.50 divided by five. That is $26.1, $26.10. I'm assuming this is in TT or Eastern Caribbean dollars because as we know, there is no ticket that is cost this cheap in Jamaica. This has to be in the Eastern Caribbean islands. So if it's Eastern Caribbean dollar, this is a decent price for a ticket, for a juvenile ticket. That's that's pretty fair. All right. Next thing now is to calculate the value of Q. To work out the value of Q, Q is just the total amount of money for U tickets. So it's the number of U tickets. So we're going to write that Q is equal to the number of U tickets, but it is 14 multiplied by 14 multiplied by, I like to put it in bracket when it's multiplied, 14 bracket 3.5. That means I'm multiplying 14 times 3.5 to get the cost of Q. So the cost of Q is equal to, put that in your calculator, 14 times 44.35, that is $620. That is $620.90. So that's the cost of Q. So Q is $620. Nice and easy. $620 for Q. All right. Now it says an adult ticket is twice the cost of a U ticket. An adult ticket is twice the cost of a U ticket. So this so the cost of a U ticket is 44.35. So what they're telling us is the cost of the adult ticket is two times as much as the cost of the U ticket. So the cost of the adult ticket is really $88.70. That's, that's pretty heavy. That's the cost for an adult ticket, $88.70, whoa. All right, cause I'm saying the cost of the adult is two times the cost of the youth. So 88.70 is the cost of an adult ticket. And so calculate R. R is now the number of tickets that was bought. 
So what we do know is that R, we do know that R times $88.70 is gonna be equal to the total amount of money, which was 2000 and something. It's 2,483.60. Two thousand four hundred and eighty three point six zero. That's what we know. So all we need to do is make R the subject now by dividing both sides by eighty eight point seven zero. So we're going to have that R is equal to two thousand four hundred and eighty three point six divided by eighty eight point seven. And so that will give us the cost of an adult. That will give us the number of adult tickets bought. So the number of adult tickets bought is 2483.6 divided by 88.7. That's 28 adult tickets bought. So they bought 28 adult tickets. So let's fill out the table. It's always nice to write it. So right here says 28 adult tickets. So that's crazy. They bought five juvenile tickets. 14 U ticket and 28 adult ticket. So there's a lot more adults than youths going on this trip. So I don't know what kind of trip this is, but seems like maybe a family gathering, more so adults there, less youths, and then the little juveniles. All right, now let's just fill out the rest of the table, like knowing what's the what is the total number of tickets? It's always good to write down the total number of tickets. So 5, 14, and 28 is, 28 and 14 is 42, and 5 is 47. So in total, they bought 47 tickets. In, in terms of total amount of money spent for tickets, it's 26 point, well, the total cost per ticket will be 20, 6.1 plus 44.35 plus 88.7. So that's the total cost per ticket would go going to be 159.15. Then write down the total cost spent on the tickets them now, which will be the 130.5 plus the 620.9 plus the 2,483.60, which is a whopping $3,235. This is a lot of money spent on tickets for a trip. This is just ticket money. Wow, they don't talk about food yet. That's crazy. So $3,235. So let me make the three a little more visible. This is a three. Just making the three a little more visible. So that's the total amount of money that they spent to buy all those tickets. All right. Now let's look at the next part of the question that they're gonna ask us. Let's see what they're asking us now. Now they're saying now the bus company pays taxes on 15% on each ticket, calculate the taxes paid by the bus company. So pretty much if the bus company pays 15% on each ticket sold, they pretty much pay 15% of the total cost. That's all, the bus company pay 15% on the total cost. So that's how we're gonna work out. So find out how many the bus company pays 15% of the total cost. So they pay 15% of the 3,235. So 15% of 3,235 is gonna be 0 0.15 times 3,235. So the bus company spent roughly 400 and something dollars in taxes that they pay. That's $485.25, $485.25. That's how much money bus companies pay. 
nice and easy. No issues. All right, now let's continue now. Next part of the question, but now, oh, that's the end of question one. But